trying to make you find some items, get accustomed to the game control. Okay, that guy attacked me. Not really happy about that, alright, my friend. Let's see if I could just get a swing in here, dodge you. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome to a Falcon update in a sense here. This is something that I want to try out, it's a bit new, which is going back to games that I've covered in the past a long time ago that were still in early access and have gone through some significant amount of change. Subterrain is actually something that's pretty cool because it's something that kind of fits the whole spooky October month that we're kind of going for here, which is probably like, what is it, like three more days? Wow, three more days till October is over, so soon enough we're going to probably cease the whole spooky October theme going out over here. But I figured that I want to check this game out for one, because the first time I played it, which was a significant amount of time ago, like, I'm thinking, like, a lot of months ago, or maybe even late last year. You know, my concept of time is completely whacked out, unfortunately. I still think I'm somewhere in February right now, honestly. But, um, this is a game that I still enjoyed a lot when I played it, and I felt that even for an early access game, there was a lot to the game itself. And I've kept up with the game, like, with updates here and there, reading up on them. And they have been completely updating this game over and over and over. And I already felt that there was a lot of content in it. But, you know, I could only imagine how much more there is now, how many reworks they've done. Anyway, let's get into a new game over here. And uh, we're going to be going with normal. I'm not entirely sure if we're going to be doing... Uh, let's see, we want to... Well, let's keep the intro and the tutorial in here just because the intro's been reworked as well, mind you. MPO is a new hope for 10,000 people seeking a fresh start. And this place, for one year, three months, and 16 days, I have lived in the MPOPD containment cell, sector B05, cell number 6. My name is Albert West. Once they called me Dr. West, I came to Mars on the promise of being able to freely conduct my research. Is it just me, or do you get like an Albert Wesker buy from this guy? I kind of do. Ultimately, it drove me to the murder. I lost everything, and I was locked up here. To hell with the past. I wait for my debt in this place. My rations have run out, soon power will shut down, then maybe life support as well, and I will die. It was a week ago, I could sense that something was wrong. It was lunchtime, but there was no call to the dining hall. I was getting hungry, but then my chow slot opened. It was the guard Hank. His eyes were strange, I just knew something was going down. There will be a transfer today. Be ready at 500 hours and take this. It's your only meal today. <laughs> I didn't expect that to be my last meal. I've been without food for some time now. After he went away, there were loud noises outside. Sounds of beating batons, running. There was a struggle. I could hear the sounds of other restless prisoners. And then, there was a siren. Attention all prisoners! Doors will be opened one cell at a time. Follow the guards and obey their instructions. Prisoners who fail to comply will be executed on the spot. Executed? Jesus. I heard noises from the other cells, doors opening one by one. Cell number one. Cell number two. Cell number three. Cell number four. Cell number five. Last was my cell, and I was ready to get out of here. And then all of a sudden... Blackness. Just tiny gap in my door. And then there was silence. All the noises to seem to be carried away from me. After a while, emergency power kicked in. Red lights and some power to the air circulation fans, but that was it. The door wouldn't budge. And that was a week ago. I tried everything to get out. My only chance seems to be like the air duct. Its fan seems to be slowing down, but it has not stopped yet. I'm reaching my limit. I can't hold on for long. I feel so sleepy. I can't sleep. I won't sleep. And it's time for us to get underway over here. Huh, how long was I asleep? Um, I've gone through the... It's awfully quiet, I can't even hear a fan noise. I've gone through the tutorial section over here just to kind of get reacquainted with the game and the controllers beforehand, so I kind of know what to expect. Let me tell you, if you watch my first run in Subterrain, the intro itself has been completely reworked as well. Like, I'm telling you, like there's a bunch of content in this game already there was, 
but what they've done with it so far as well is even more amazing because everything's been kind of reworked in a sense over here as well. So, um, yes, I kind of know what I'm doing here, games, so give me... Yeah, I, I, got, I got a game. Thanks a lot. I appreciate the um, support over here, but I uh, just let me roll. Let me roll, dog. Let's open this up here really quickly. Nothing in a drawer. Perfect. Um, if you're not familiar with this and this is your first time watching me play this, uh, essentially it is a you know horror survival game for a fact. Um, over here what I'm doing is that you will be able to scan objects around, which is pretty cool because you'll be able to know what to interact with. So, you know, because the game is really dark, obviously, that's the whole premise of it. Have I turned on my light stick? There we go, light stick's on now. So, um, I'm over here just scanning around for items, I can move stuff around, we can use this as barricades as well. It's a really, really fun game, there's a lot to do in it for a fact. Uh, I'm gonna come down over here for now. Um, so far, my... It's very dark in here. So far, my experience with it, like, everything seems really fresh, like, there's been new animations added for attacks, new weapons already. There's definitely a lot of work that's been done from the last time I played it, and I'm really excited because it feels like a brand new game to me. He was a sweet junkie. He must have some of his chocolate bars hidden somewhere in this cell. And what's really cool about it is that there is also an end to the game now, so even though it's not complete just yet, you can, you know, go from start to finish. Um, it takes a while, and it's pretty difficult, I hear, but um, there's definitely uh, an end to the game right now, even though they're still adding more features to it as we go along, tweaks and things of that nature. I know they're adding also controller support, or they've actually added some of it. Uh, I tried messing around with the controller to play the game, but um, not all the commands were actually triggering for my controller, so I'm not sure if that was on my end, or they just haven't completely um, you know, added it in just yet. This was obviously our room, it does seem. And over here we have another malfunctioning door, no? Okay. So we could run up here right now, we could also do some dodging, which is something that was added towards the end of my run itself. And let's see, I'm gonna open up this door. Uh, we could sleep over there if we wanted to. Do we need to sleep? No, we're actually kind of rested. We do need some water and some food. I could drink out of these um, faucets, by the way, check this out. Water remaining, 25%. There is a risk of contamination, are you sure? So over time, these will be um, dried out as well. So, um, But there's a risk of contamination as well, which we haven't talked about, which is down here. You can get infected with this virus that's going on in this colony as well. And um, if that happens, it would be game over, obviously. We got some purified water, great. I'm gonna go ahead and um, eat my chocolate bar right now, so you can kind of sate our hunger here a little bit, and we'll do the same with the water as well. Now this here will clear up your hunger and um, thirst meter as well over time. Now, going back to the whole um, infection thing, you can get infected, and that's actually one of the easiest ways to die in this game. And in order to not get infected, it's obviously you might want to avoid taking damage from, you know, muties out there. Muties, isn't this guy? Kind of a racist right there towards mutants, huh, Falcon? Calling them muties! Uh, I'm kind of going by my X-Men knowledge growing up with the X-Men Fox cartoon. And they had, like, those guys who were really racist against the mutants, or X-Men in general. And they were just kind of like, ah, you stinking mutie! So that's what I'm kind of um, aiming for here. Let's grab this bag as well. But, um, yeah, you will get infected by taking damage and also by eating food that's not, uh, say, sealed, for instance. So if I'm over here drinking out of the tap water and maybe eating food that's not necessarily sealed, that carries a contamination risk as well. So um, you can clear that up, by the way. You can actually make your own medicine to stave off the infection. But doing that requires you to kill a lot of, at least back in my days. <laughs> Listen to Grandpa over here. Back in my days? Uh, but back when I played this originally, um, you had to kind of um, farm some of the monsters to pick up some of their drops, and then you would use that to make yourself a bit of a cure. But, you know, I'm going down the line right now. We're still far, far ahead from that. Yes, I know how to run game. Thank you for that, though. So let's see here. Right now, I think we should be safe for the most part going forward. It is up to you to make sure you're checking everything. Otherwise, um, well, you don't have to, but... I'm naturally a, a hoarder in most games that I play, so I have to go through everything and make sure we're not leaving anything behind. And early on in the game, I'm not sure if this was added, like, um, I do remember the game being a lot more difficult early on, although I do like the the rework in terms of how it actually looks now. Um, when I played this originally, the, the game, at least when you first started like this, everything seemed kind of clean, there was a few bodies here and there, but it didn't look grisly, you know, like something crazy had happened. Now it feels like, wow. Shit really went down in this game, or at least in this, you know, part of this entire colony we're at right now. So definitely, the, it's been reworked to actually look like something terrible went down, which is good. But, I'm not sure if it's, I just got lucky, we'll see if um, I get the same drops, but right now we have the emergency response plan. We'll read that here really quickly. Did I, I did pick that up, right? Yes. We'll read that here pretty quickly. And we got the hack data, so we can open up one of those doors, so we have uh, our first weapon, the baton. But what I meant by it feeling easy now is that they pack you up with a bunch of stuff early on. When I first originally played this, 
Um, it was difficult. Like, um, just getting out of here was alone, a bit of a chore, and um, you didn't get a weapon so early and so many packs of uh, batteries, which we'll talk about here soon as we get to it. But, um, you know, we'll clear that up soon. Let me check out these notes that we have here, the journal anyway. So, right now, make my escape is kind of like my, essentially my goal. Um, and we have already kind of read this, right? So what we want to do is check out the one that we just got, which is down over, excuse me? There we go, the response plan. Let's go ahead and read this here really quickly. Alright, emergency out, this will give us some up, um, background as to what happened here. Is, is time still running? Oh, the time actually stops when you're reading stuff. Thank you for that. I hate it when games don't let you read. I've been playing The Coma uh, as another series in the channel. In that game, every time you're reading, it's always like running into backgrounds. So I'm always constantly on edge. Here I could actually read in peace, thankfully. Uh, emergency outbreak response plan 20530415. Confirmation of outbreak infection rate 92% of population and rising. Survivor group is being gathered at the rally point Murray Space Center. 134 confirmed. Uh, Murray Space Center, gotcha. We might have to go there at some point, maybe. Um, MPO emergency response meeting result, seven council members attending. Council agrees by unanimous vote to shut down power for the entire city, including the Space Center. Plans have been uh, completed for evacuation of all surviving personnel, including the prisoners, confirmed 53. Prisoners will be moved to the Murray Space Station by 5 p.m. April 16. Prisoners are to be handled with extreme caution, taking care to follow all existing protocols. Repeat. Follow all existing protocols for the transfer of prisoners. Don't turn a disaster into a catastrophe by cutting corners. And that's probably, they are the ones who I think more than likely um, called for that execution of all of us. Or at least uh, allegedly, you know, if we got out of line, we were going to get executed here. So this requires a class C card, which we don't have right now, and this C as well. Huh. Don't we have a B one, though? We have a B one. Let me look at my map here. Oh, gotcha. We're in the wrong place altogether. That's what I get for trying to explain some of the things going on over here. Falcon, stop explaining. Play the game. Alrighty, you got it, dog. Open this one up here. Oh boy. Look at that. You can actually see like weird. Is that like maggots? I'm not sure what the hell that is. It couldn't be maggots. It just happened recently. There wouldn't be maggots that early. I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure how maggots actually even play into things here. So we could actually sit over here, by the way. And I believe this will actually get you rested if you're too tired. But um. Preferably, you do want to get into a bed and sleep whenever you're too fatigued. Obviously, when you're too fatigued, you will start losing stamina faster, and you won't be able to run, and things of that nature. You also swing a bit faster with your attacks, so it's definitely a well-crafted game in terms of the survival aspect, for sure. Right now, I do believe we're relatively safe over here. I'm just making sure that there's no monsters running around. Also doing my scanning, making sure we're not leaving any items. Again, we've talked about Falcon's need to pick everything up. Can't move you, right? Okay. So we're fine over here. We have a door up here. Alright. What is this over here? Oh, we had a weight room. Oh, it's a training room. Gotcha. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and pick up the old roast beef. So far, I'm... No, 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 no. I don't want to drink out of that. I'm fine. So far, I'm seeing new items being picked up on this run. So yeah, definitely the items are randomized each time, which is good. Maybe I won't get so overpowered early on like I did the um, off-camera test that I took over here. We got a snack pick that up as well. Mind you, I'm picking stuff up over here, but there is a limit to how much you can carry, so the bare essentials will become a necessity down the line. However, you can extend how much you can carry by making bigger bags. Um, right now, we only have a small side bag, which holds 48 items, but down the line, you definitely will have to either craft bigger ones or just find out what's a bit more important for you. Okay, so far, so good. This guy's... what is this over here? Rotten food scrap. Let's read this here really quickly. Rotten, highly contaminated leftover food scrap. I'm pretty sure you might be able to break this down at a station. We haven't gotten that far yet. But um, for now, I'm not going to use that as food, so I'm not going to take it with me. What the hell's happening here? Well, until I really find out I'm ready to go through there, I'm going to close this door behind me. Closing doors is really important as well. Monsters, at least back when I played the game, would not open doors. I'm not sure if that's actually changed now. I guess we'll keep an eye out on it. I do see an item over here. Those are just probably water, things to drink. Got a soft drink as well. Perfect. Is that like one of those, um... It is one of those little, um... What are they called? Medicine balls? Whatever the hell they are. I, I want to move the ball around. Let, let me let me do it. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! Come on. Come on, do it. Do it. Ah! It, gets, it, it, it keeps getting stuck right here. Come on. Ah! Okay, whatever. I've had my attempt at fun. It just didn't really work out for me. What do we have here? Pineapple. No pineapple left behind. 
It's actually another indie game coming out on Steam soonish. Check it out, guys. I just threw out a mention at you randomly. Alrighty, let's see. Map, we're fine. So that's over here locked. Well, all of them are locked for the most part. So I don't think we have any more keys. So I think we have to go up through that area. Class B, remember, we use the Class B card to get in here. When you use up a card, it will be um, depleted from your inventory. So you definitely do need to find more. And you will find a lot more as you go forward. I do believe you could also buy them. Assuming that's still a feature in the game. Alrighty. So far, so good. Early on, the game's not gonna necessarily try to kill you. Later on, it will, but right now, it's just kind of getting your feet wet here. Trying to make you find some items, get accustomed to the game control. Okay, that guy attacked me. Not really happy about that, right, my friend? Let's see if I could just get a swing in here, dodge you. <laughs> Alright, we took a little bit of damage, but I see no contamination, which is fine. I will take it. Uh, really terrible that I got, took a hit already, but that's fine. You know, just getting myself a little bit comfortable here. Haven't played this game in ages now. Open this up. Well, I mean, I played it for like maybe 15 minutes before I recorded here today. Uh, let's see. Data entry. Nothing in here. We're looking right now for any sort of information and probably cards to open up some of these doors. Take a seat over here if I wanted to. Look at this guy. Look, come on, dude. We have better. We have bigger fish to fry right now than just taking seats on these little comfy chairs. Speaking of comfy chairs, I kind of want to get a comfy chair myself. Like, I, I have like a really... Ooh, alright, we have a gun here, we have a small power pack, and a crowbar. Let's grab all these items here really quickly. I know how the guns work, game. Um, I... I have a really weird recording setup, like, I have, like, this weird desk in which my... I guess keyboard and mouse are located at. We have a Class A keycard, good. So, uh, my mouse and keyboard are on this little desk, which is more like... It, it reminds me of this desk that I have here. It's not even a legitimate desk. It reminds me more of a little, like, table that you would use to, like, you know, roll food at a... <laughs> roll in food, like, at a, a hotel or something. Like, if you're dining or something, they just roll in that little table with a bunch of food. That's what it reminds me of. My television is kind of off over here to the left-hand side. My desktop itself, my tower itself is, like, somewhere off over on one side of the room. Like, I have a really awkward recording setup because my, you know, I just haven't really made it comfortable for myself. I'm over here sitting on the edge of my bed. That's how I record. It's really uncomfortable. I really need to find... The thing is, I have like a queen-size bed. Can I open this door right now? Yes. I have a queen-size bed, which is way too big for this room, unfortunately. So I need to like lower myself down to like a full size, maybe. Um, I had like a queen size. I got one like a long time ago. I thought it was a good idea like for, you know, relationship. You know, hey, I'm living with somebody. Gotta have a big bed. Because I also like my room, I, I like my room when I'm sleeping. Like, you know, I kind of like... Let, go on the other side of the bed and you sleep over there. I just need my room, you know, for sleeping purposes. But, um, <laughs> you know, now I'm realizing... Yeah, this is probably... I would sacrifice extra comfy room when I'm sleeping for just a better setup here because my back is killing me. Alrighty, station level. Three hours, 56 minutes. I got to the station level of the prison, but I still haven't seen a living person. The station level has a visitor's meeting room and other important fast facilities like oxygen temperature regulators. But most importantly, it has a huge... It has a huge... I, I don't even see where I see that word at. It has a tube station that is connected to the rest of the Mars colony. That is probably where I should be heading to, but I should also look out for supplies along the way. It seems like all hell is broken loose here, so I need to be on my toes. The question is whether the security measures will be offline. But given the situation, I don't think there will be any guards trying to stop me. Well, unless we're not talking about the um, live guard variety, but we're talking about the creepy, mutated monster variety. That's a possibility. Yeah, I I'm. What do you? What do you, don't rush me. I'm walking. What do you want me to do? You want to run the entire way? I'm not gonna run. <laughs> I'm not gonna run into the face of danger here. I need to find out what's going around the corners. Uh, speaking of which, if you want to make yourself um, a bit more safer, you could hit tab. Zoom out here, and this will give you a better view as to what's ahead of you. So, um, that's another interesting mechanic as well. Which I should use more often, especially, um, later in the game. Big empty room over here. Oh, god. These little pot things that I'm in front of right here, they'll be playing a big part in the game later on, assuming they still work the way I remind... Remember how they work. And monsters do evolve over time in this game, too. So, even though, like, you know, I could take my time, it's not necessarily, um... And your advantage to take your time because um, things are happening in the background of the game all the single time. So the longer you take, mutants are over here evolving, and if they evolve too much, let me tell you, not exactly the best for business here. We have a few more battery packs over here, and we got a flashlight already. Oh, nice! 
So yeah, these are all randomized guys. Interesting. The first time around when I came up here, this is where I essentially stopped playing the game before I started recording. Uh, this over here, it gave me like four battery packs. It was like intense. It was crazy. But now I have a few of them, but now I have the flashlight, which is actually pretty good. So let's go ahead and equip the old flashlight here. And um, I'm going to keep the baton, which is actually pretty good. Let's go ahead and equip one of my battery packs. Let's go ahead and equip the one with zero. Excuse me, the one with zero is what I wanted because I'm going to charge it right here. So this here is going to be used to charge your battery packs. Battery packs will be used to shoot your weapons. Um, your weapons will take uh, a various amount of energy required to shoot them depending on the abilities equipped on them. And um, also your flashlight as well and other different things going forward. Uh, 52, I guess we'll equip this one next. I just want to charge them up right now. Now these charge stations will actually charge up over time. So um, assuming the power has not been completely cut off in a building, they will charge up over time. Can I top this one off? I guess we're topping it off because, again, power is still being circulated in here. It's just going to slowly build itself back up. So we have two of them filled up. I'm going to go ahead and get this one up and running, too. Charges in progress. All right, come on. Come on. Chamona. Oh, Chamona. All right, that's, come on. No more Michael Jackson for one, and that's it. All right, good. So battery packs are equipped. Let's go ahead and get the gun equipped as well, just in case we have to. You never know. Oh, here we go. Up here. So we have the SMG MDIX. This is going to be a damage of 25 to 45 per shot. The rate of fire is 3.33, so it's going to be kind of slow. Shots per fire, 1. And let's see, range is 6. Okay. Heat capacity, 50. Cooldown rate is 4. And then critical is 4. Durability, okay, good, good. Good to see. I'm going to equip this here for now. I do want my baton still, however, so let's drag this down here. And I guess as a backup weapon, we'll use one of these crowbars. But for now, I do want to stick to baton. Alrighty guys, and I think right here is a perfect enough time to wrap it up, if anything. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up, leave a like to support this me a lot. Um, what are we doing with Subterrain? Well, I'm going to say maybe two more episodes. Um, I want to cover some of the... Oh, let's pause this because I'm getting hungry and thirsty as we speak here. Uh, I'm thinking maybe two more episodes here today, and if you guys want to see more beyond this point, or the three episodes I'm going to record today, let me know and I will do so. Otherwise, we'll wrap it up after these three episodes, but I wanted to give you guys, at least some of the new viewers, um... An introduction to Subterrain, and some of the older viewers, like, hey, there's been a lot of updates, so it's a lot of cool stuff happening with it. But um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.